Hey what's up everyone so welcome back to another video and uh, for today I had in mind to release another video which I postponed it and I will release it in the next days because uh, yesterday Microsoft released a new build for uh, Windows Mobile and well I kind of decided to make fast this video. The build is with the number 15025 and this build also doesn't bring like new features. It brings only like uh, some se new settings uh, in Microsoft Edge for like uh, enabling emojis and the colors of emojis and stuff like that but there is not anything new on this build but this build it's very polished so if you want to test this build then I will recommend to test this build because this build uh, is pretty stable at this point the previous build even when I was pressing here uh, to open this menu and uh, if I was selecting something uh, it was taking still some time until, until it was answering or even if I was trying to type something hello the keyboard was so so slow and now this also got fixed so this build uh, it's pretty stable at this point and I think how they come at to this point uh, the next build it should have some new features because at this point the build is pretty stable they fixed a bunch of stuff on this build I, I read the log uh, and there is a bunch of uh, fixes there's finally a fix for the brightness, so if I choose now it's low, if I choose medium, it goes a bit higher, high, even higher, and then automatic. Previously it was working only on automatic. Uh, also on this build uh, they fixed the problem um, where previously some people were reporting that in the email uh, or even if you go for example uh, in, in, in the browser and you try to go to YouTube for example, uh, or uh, even to check email on the browser then you couldn't log in into your account into a Google account so now they fixed also this problem with Google accounts uh, now you can log in without any problem I didn't really have that problem with my Google accounts uh, because I don't really use my Google accounts on the browser but I mean since they since they fixed that it's also good uh, Microsoft Edge still has a problem uh, for example I saw there first time when I open it and if I type on URL, you see here it it, stu it got stuck. It, you can't do nothing. But if I press here, it works. But the the web page it's stuck. So the fix is to close the tab. Once the tab is closed, you can reopen it. And the second time you reopen, then it works fine. It doesn't have any problem. Let's see. You can see now it works without any problem. It works also pretty smooth. Uh, but the first time when you open it it freezes that this was happening in previous build it's still happening here so I guess uh, they didn't fix that maybe they don't know about this bug uh, also a problem that they fixed and I had and I had also that problem was with Outlook sometimes when I was receiving any email for example in the notification here and if I was pressing here on the email then it was trying to open the email and then it was crashing or it wasn't showing the email at all now this also got fixed I tried it today and it got fixed they also kind of fixed the battery they said that they improved the battery while in OneDrive or any other like apps that are in background which this is a very good news because uh, for me the battery was, was kind of okay uh, not perfect not bad but for some people was saying that was bad so this uh, is a this is a very welcome uh, fix for the battery to save battery for the apps in the background as you can see I have 25% now but I didn't charge my phone since uh, yesterday so since yesterday till today I installed the ROM last night and I still have 25% for me the, the battery wasn't really a problem but it's good that they uh, bring a fix for that uh, and then there's a bunch of another fix for Cortana and for Continuum but this phone doesn't have Continuum so I can't really show you Continuum but overall the build works pretty fine it's pretty smooth as well doesn't like the apps doesn't really crash like it was crashing in maybe other builds uh, all my apps are on SD card and uh, they work fine I mean I think this build it will be released for slow ring and now I'm using fast ring of course but I think it will be released for slow ring and maybe hopefully in the next build they will start to bring some new features to to the OS hopefully because at this point they kind of polished the OS uh, it's pretty polished uh, everything works kind of okay uh, the apps don't really crash uh, that often or don't really crash anymore only Facebook still crashes but um, people that have better phones 
with more uh, RAM, they, they kind of say that the Facebook app for them doesn't crash. But my device has only one gigabyte of RAM, so that kind might be a problem. Uh, but it opens, um, it opens a bit slow, but you can, I mean, I can use it. It's not really a problem. And I hope in the next build they will they will start to bring new features. Because at this point, like I said, uh, the OS is pretty polished. Everything works kind of good. Um, apps doesn't crash, which is uh, perfect for me. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you. Uh, found anything else that they fixed or maybe that they, they improved on this build but yeah see you in the next one